Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I want to be doing a quick vinyl haul. Um, I haven't been buying that much records um, over the past few months. Just because records have gotten very expensive and I've been obsessed with buying books and collecting books. And yeah, but I do want to get back into my love of vinyl collecting again. So I'm going to show you guys the records that I picked up over the few months and um, I will be posting unboxing videos of some of these, um, the next few days, so, um, so look out for that. <laughs> so, um, actually yesterday I went to a small record store and I found two used records, but I ended up finding a copy of Lizzo album special for only $12.99, um, it's used, but it's still, it's only been out for like a couple months, so. Yeah, I decided to pick it up, um, and it's in pretty good condition as well, and this is just pressed on a nice, um, orange vinyl, and I think it's pretty. Um, I haven't listened to it yet, um, because I literally just bought this yesterday, and I haven't, I haven't had time to play it on my record player, but, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this though, but for $12.99, um, I decided to pick it up, so, yeah. And then at the same record store, I ended up finding finding a copy of Megan Trainer new album, Taking It Back. Um, this has literally been out for like a month and a half or so, so I was very happy to find this. And this was only $13.99, again it is used, but it's still brand new. So I was happy to find this, and I feel like, I, I think it's a Target exclusive. Um, if I'm not wrong, I could be wrong, but I really love these inner sleeves, um, and I really love the album. Um, the album is pretty great, um, but it's just pressed on a standard, um, black vinyl. And for $13, I kind of say no to passing this up. Um, so yeah, I was very happy to find this one there, because I didn't need it, and I love this record. So, very happy to find this. So the next two records I ended up getting, um, I think two days ago, or maybe three, um, and those are two more copies of Harry Styles' um, album Harry's House. These are the other color pressings that they had on his web store that they restocked shortly. So this one is the blue vinyl, uh, which is pretty, um, it's okay. Um, but yeah, it will be a um, plus an unboxing video of this one with the gate floor and everything to show you guys. Okay, still have the shrink wrap on it. So I have that one, and then we have the other color pressing here. And this one is pressed on a nice orange vinyl. Um, so yeah, I like this color better. Um, so yeah. Again, I was very happy to get these because I didn't pick them up when they were first released. Um, but they restocked it and I decided to buy them both. So here we are. And I'm glad to have these in my collection now. So yeah. So I think the next um, right now I think is for everyone probably wants to see an unboxing video. Of, but sorry for not posting it like the day of or whatever. But I only have three of the five variants. Um, I still need to pick up the regular edition and the Target one, but it is Taylor Swift's new album, um, Midnight's. So we have this, um, we have the Jade Green edition right here. Um, and let's show you guys the, I like the inner sleeves, they're really nice. And then here is the actual vinyl pressing. And I really like this. It's very, very pretty. Uh, yeah, it's such a nice, pretty color. And you have like the black marble in there. So yeah, I like it. Very nice. Then we have the this one. My, I can't really pronounce it, but <laughs> we have this color variant. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the inner sleeve. The inner sleeves are nice again. And then the vinyl color. 
but I really like this color um, it's really really pretty I think this one might be my favorite that I own I still want to get the Target one and then the actual standard edition um, but yeah they're very pretty um, I do like the record um, there is a few songs that I do skip but it's a good album and then we have the Blood Moon uh, vinyl edition of this and here is the inner squeeze again very pretty and then here is the vinyl pressing really nice um i think this one might be my least favorite just because i already have a whole bunch of orange orange uh, vinyl as you can see i just got two more um but yeah, I'm happy to own this record, and hopefully soon I will pick up the other two to complete my collection of this. The next album we have is Color Ray Jefferson um, album, The Loneliest, the Lon Loneliest Time. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this is the Amazon exclusive, I think. But inner sleeves are gorgeous, and again, it's just press on this color which I don't really care for like I said I already have a whole bunch of records that I like this as you guys can see um in this haul a lot of them are this color um but yeah um I love this album it's such a good album and um I love Color Richardson so I was very happy to get this but like <laughs> like the reason why I haven't been buying vinyl is this shouldn't be priced at 30 something dollars that it was because it's not a gay fold um the vinyl is very thin um so like normally like this should have just been 20 dollars at best because the quality isn't there there's no gay fold there's no extras in it um the vinyl is very thin it's not thick so it's like one of the main reasons why i just been like not buying records because they're so expensive and the quality isn't there anymore like it used to be when I first started collecting. So they just keep charging more for the, for the bare minimum, but whatever. Um, but I do love this record, so. Then we have Phoebe Bridger's um, um, Strangers in the Alf um, album that she did a special edition of, um, the fifth anniversary um, Galaxy vinyl. So yeah, I bought this right away. Here is the vinyl pressing. Honestly, it's kinda, it's pretty disappointing to be honest. It's like just like a purple lavender color. Um, not very much of a galaxy to be honest, but it's whatever. Um, I didn't have a copy of this album yet, so I was happy to at least own a color variant of this, but yeah. Then I have Banks um, her, in her latest album. This is just a record that I haven't listened to yet. Um, I did not pay $30 for this. Um, there's a record store closing down and they were selling their vinyl you know, for very ch cheap online. Um, but yeah, this is just their white pressing. Um, honestly, I haven't listened to this album yet. I do like Banks' other albums and I do listen to those regularly. But for some reason, I just haven't had like the will to listen to this record. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's good, but um, yeah. Hopefully, I listen to this soon. But yeah. <laughs> Next up, real quickly, we have Madonna, like a virgin um, album. This is just pressed on a standard um, black vinyl. I like the case for I mean, dinner, please. It's very nice. And this is a uh, press on a 180 gram vinyl. And it's just press on standard black. I'm slowly collecting all of Madonna, Madonna's um, albums. Um, it's a great record. So I'm finally glad I finally have this in my collection. And then for the last record that I have here is Kylie's um, disco album. And again, I, this is the only Kali record that I have ever listened to in my life. Um, and this is really good. I love this album. 
So I still will hopefully try to listen to her backlist. But this is such a great record. Also, this inner sleeve um, with the stars is very pretty. Um, yeah, it just has on a standard black vinyl. Um, but very, very pretty, and I really enjoyed the album. Um, and hopefully, I listen to the rest of her record that she has after. But this is a really great place to start because I really love this. So yeah, so yeah, that was all the records that I ended up picking up in the past couple of months. Um, I would try to buy my records again because I want to fall back in love with it. Um, I will be uploading more video content. Um, I want to do more different type of content on my channel and hopefully you guys will watch that. Um, I do plan on doing more, I haven't done any, but I want to do more um, reading vlogs and like come shopping with me videos to record stores and bookstores. Um, Cause that's what I love doing. I love going to different record stores and bookstores and supporting small businesses like that. Um, so hopefully I actually do end up doing those. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you did like this video, make sure to like this video. Comment below, tell me what's your favorite record um, that you see in this video. Tell me your thoughts on them and yeah, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.